Thank you for giving me blood. Thank you for giving me blood. Thank you for saving my life. Give blood to the Red Cross and change a life, starting with your own. I'm Sonia. I'm Avon. And I'm Kate. And today we're dishing with you from Church Key, which is located at 1337 14th Street Northwest. And our guest today is Jolene Sugarbaker. She's the host of a trailer park cooking show called Cooking with Jolene. Jolene, welcome to the table. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Real excited. You didn't bring nice. any trailer, trailer park food for us? Um, well, I, I was going to, but I had some fudge and I ate that. It was in the <laughs> testing phase. <laughs> so. I yeah. bet you're not very often behind the table. I bet you're usually in the kitchen doing the cooking. Yeah. Yes, I'm usually doing the cooking, but you know, sometimes I do like to go out and have a nice meal too. Would you come to a place like Church Key? Well, I, I'm just amazed. It, it just looks so pretty in here. You would really want to eat here. You know, their, yeah. their major thing is uh, is the beer selection. Do you cook with a lot of beer? Well, um, well you're in the trailer park. So well, I of imagine, course. So. Yeah, I'm working on a root beer recipe. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> root beer. Yeah, and um, Can that's you tell a us about it? well, it's a cookie recipe and with root beer. Uh, with root beer. Yeah. And it's kind of like, you know, you have the ice cream floats and things like that. Well, it's in a cookie, and it, it tastes good, too. And where'd you get this, uh, this uh, recipe from? Well, you just keep working in the kitchen. You just keep working at it. Have you, you always been a, a chef, a cook? Pretty much since the very start. I've been, been around for quite some time, and, you know, I've just been cooking all the time and then, you know, started the live cooking classes and mm -hmm. things like that, and people just wanted to see me cook, so there I am. And where are you from originally? Well, I, I've traveled all over the place, but, you know, now I'm here close to D.C., so okay. I can, you know, fight for trailer park rights and, you know, for are the there, trailer park are people. Are there trailer park people and trailer park rights in this area? I've never seen any. Well, that's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Bring awareness Gotta start to the cause. <laughs> <laughs> to cook in a, trailer, in a trailer, you yeah. only have probably like a hot plate, right? You don't have a full-service kitchen. So you're telling people how to cook with minimal assets or? Well, I do have an oven in my double wide, but, okay. but you, you know, hot plates and things like that, you know, it's just a, maybe a few months ago that I cooked cookies on a, a folding chair in a, a toaster oven. So you can really cook anywhere if you really want to. And you to. can make those root beer cookies in a, in a cooking well, oven? Not in a cooking oven, so I don't well, even yes, know what it's called. The, little, those little Did you toaster ovens. with an easy bake oven when you were little? <gasps> no, actually I used a real oven and, you know, got screamed at from, you know, the mama and things like that. Don't you, don't you light yourself on fire and things <laughs> like did. that. No. There was some, you know, we had to have the fire extinguishers around and things like that. Now tell me about your so. look. Does that go at all into the cooking? Does your, are your meals as flamboyant as, as um, your look? Some things, you know, my chocolate beet brownies, it's got beets hidden inside of it. And people never know what, what's going on. And, it, you know, it's a, just an inventive twist on some of your, you know, things that you eat every day. So how did you get started? telling people how to cook. I know that you're an experimenter and you'd like to try it out, but now you've got this great show and everybody's watching you on YouTube and elsewhere. How'd you get started? How'd I get started? Well, way back when the internet started, you know, I started performing before then too, you know, doing the comedy on, on stand up and things like that. But you know, the, the web, you know, just had all these boring business sites. And you know, back, back then there was not even foodie sites either. And I just started with a website and, you know, just got in a lot of media and just took off from there. And now you've won an award. An award, too. I just came back from San Francisco. I won a Tasty Award for Best Comedy Series. And up and against some stiff competition. Yes, Andrew Zimmerman, the Bizarre Foods. Oh, yeah, yeah the guy you saw like crap. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, he does. He's that's what like, most people said yeah, on the yeah. Facebook page. He's They're like, hey, that's that guy that eats a lot. But, you know, um, I mean, the fans have spoken and I won and it, it's, I'm still in shock. Did he have so, anything to say about your root beer cookies or your beet? Uh, I, no, beet no, I haven't heard from him. He's following me on Twitter now. I don't know if that means anything, <laughs> but I, I, you know, I still love him though. He's, I mean, it's great. It was great competition. Put up quite a fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, so your next show, what can we look forward to in your next shows? Are you going to teach people how to make your favorite foods? Well, I'm back in break rooms because everyone, you know, is stuck at work mm -hmm. and, you know, they can't cook. And, you know, like you said, hot plates and microwaves and things like that, you know, they could use their stuff that's in your break room. And, you know, while I was out in California, I filmed something like that. 
give, us, give us an, an idea of what I'm, I'm on my way to a week long trip and I'm going to be staying in you know one of those extended stay places. What, okay. Give me an idea of what I can cook while I'm there to stay healthy or well, not or not to stay healthy. Well, not to stay healthy. <laughs> but well, yummy. You're, well, it depends on where it is. I mean, you always should look for buffets. Eating out is always good, but stay away from those chips that are in the room. Those are usually like six dollars, and don't use any ingredients that are in your room. Those are very expensive. <laughs> just travel. Found that out. Six dollars. That's just way too much for chips but I would pack something like some some canned chicken and things like that mm -hmm. and maybe some ramen noodles because you could always get some hot water downstairs mm -hmm. maybe at the front desk. And then you can just cook that all up in your little Probably oh, so but I recommend eating out because you know you just shouldn't eat out of suitcase. If you do that just let us know that you eat, you ate out of a suitcase. Okay. Then I will, yeah. then I will stop talking to you. True. But, uh, <laughs> And your favorite thing to make, Joking. what's your favorite thing to make? It's horrible. Well, it's a corn chip casserole. It's made out of the corn chips, the, the snack food. Oh, and wow. it's not $6 so, corn chips? No, no, don't, definitely not. <laughs> don't use those. But ones that you get at the convenience store. And right. it's so simple to make. All you do have to throw them together with some cheese and some beans and some meat. And it, it really is good. Casseroles. Oh. Yeah. And the thing I, that people, you were saying before we even started taping that most people don't know how to make a casserole. They don't. They don't know what to throw together. And that's what's silly because you can really do pretty much throw whatever you want together. Yeah. It's really simple with that. Well, tell us how to tell us how to make this corn chip casserole. How do you exactly throw it together? Well, you need the corn chips. You can get that from any convenience store. And you also need the ground beef, which you need to make sure you cook so you don't get the mad cow disease. You need to cook that well. <laughs> I don't know. I've been to these restaurants. I mean, you know, the ones that decorated nice that, you know, just don't cook their meat long enough for me. But you need to cook the meat. And you also need cheese and, you know, kidney beans. What color cheese? Because um, I go by color. Yeah, what, what, orange. <laughs> orange cheese. Orange, okay. orange okay. cheese. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, and no particular type of cheese. No particular okay. type. No, not at all. But, yeah, it's definitely, it's a thrown together, baked down delight that, you know, you can top with jalapenos, make it spicy, put on sour cream, whatever works. Yummy. Well, now that you've won this award and, and you've actually beaten out some stiff competition, What's, what do we have to look forward to? More cooking shows. I'm back in the test kitchen. I'm really cooking up a storm, and there's all sorts of things. And, of course, I'm working on my book, too. And, you know, you might be a book around the corner. and Cookbook some, or uh, memoir? A, a cookbook. Okay, and, you know, there's still a long way to go. I've been around for over 16 years doing, you know, performing. But there's the memoirs will have to wait. But definitely some some cooking in a book. Any yeah. relation to other sugar bakers out there? No, no, just a, just a family name, yep. Well, yep. thank you very much for joining us, <laughs> Jolene you. Sugar Baker. Thank you, so glad to be here. the Trailer Park Cooking Show. Thank well, you. we certainly learned a lot, and she'll be cooking out of her soup. And I'm going to get the accent down, too. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to really watch in <laughs> perpetuity so I can yeah. feel more comfortable yeah. with my accent. <laughs> well, thanks for watching this episode of The District Dish, and Sonia and I want to say... Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.